Hello and welcome to this solo stealth level up infamy guide. This is not a complete infamy guide and this is not the fastest way to level up. This is for all those people who like to play solo stealth and don't want to rush. In this video I don't go over every detail of the new infamy system, but I link a video from Red Archer Live with more details about everything you need to know about the infamy 3.0. I'll also link a guide video from the Noli for people who want to level up as fast as possible. Now the most important changes that come with Infamy 3.0 are the following. You only need Infamy 1 to get the full skill point requirements reduction. Before the update you had to be at least Infamy 5 to get it. The max Infamy level has been raised from 25 to 500. You can't choose your rewards after going infamous. They are in a strict order now. Also, you can't have an active crime spree if you want to go infamous. Alright, so after going infamous, just grab any suppressed gun with a high concealment and start an easy heist. Something that is doable without any skills. I'll go for a diamond store since this is an easy one for me. I link a guide to this heist and some other easy heists that you can do without skills in the description. Now first step on this heist is to kill the camera guard and use the loud drill on the safe. More guards are coming to check for the drill and you just kill them all. I can't make out a gun. Keep an eye on the civilians because they can easily screw up the highest if they get alerted. Kill them if necessary. Wait for the manager to go upstairs, kill her and get the keycard. Also check for the alarm box and deactivate the alarm. At this point I start to kill all the civilians outside to be sure no one can call the cops. Sometimes civilians inside the store run away in panic and alert everyone outside and I don't want to restart the heist because of that. Now it's time to overtake the store. Shout and shoot until the last civilian is tied or dead. Remember, this is not about humanity in video games, it's about easy leveling. The rest is, as always, just looting. With the full XP bonus from Infamy 25, this gave me 49 levels and that should be enough for some useful skills and better weapons. First I get some body bags and 6 cents to mark close enemies while I'm standing still. Also the cleaner cost reduction to make killing sifts cheaper. Now some movement skills, more cable ties and transporter so I can throw bags further. Since I still have a lot of points left, I grab the rest of the ghost skills, a basic drill skill and the confidence skill to make shouting at guards easier. Okay, 
At this point you can check your crew management. Be sure to equip the quick perk and the concealment boost. Now for the weapons. Usually I would go for the cavity and the judge, but my next heist is the bank heist and I want to open the deposit boxes. To do this fast I need a saw. For the pre-planning just take the spy cams and the keycard. Again I'll link a full guide to this heist without skills in the description. Alright, now grab the keycard and the drill and kill the cam guard. Now it's waiting time. There are only a few spots where you can kill guards without getting noticed. So wait for them to go there and kill all three. In this case I had bad RNG and the vault is on the wrong side. That means I have to overtake the whole bank. First I'll take the back part of the bank, so they can't run to the panic button. Now for the front part, first kill the two tellers, so they can't push the second panic button. Then deal with the rest. Remember, there are some stationary and roaming civilians outside the bank too. At this point you can allow other players to join. They can screw up the heist and get money and XP. And you get some help with carrying the bags and maybe some more people with us all. Now it's just looting again. Alright, this heist was good for money, but the experience points are not the best. With my just earned skill points, I can get some more drill skills for the next heist, that is, Big Bank with all loot. This is nothing I would suggest for new players, but for me it's a nice way to get good loot and XP. From now on I'll show you this run without any comments and with a lot of speed up parts, since the original gameplay was almost one hour long. After finishing this heist I was level 70 and you see me once more spending skill points. I ended up with a decent stealth build that has enough skill points to finish every stealth heist without problems and this is where I end this mini series. Now lean back and enjoy the rest of this run. On the ground! Get down! On now the that ground! Take Come with me. The police assault is going to take more time. That's the server room. Get inside and get me connected. On the ground! Get down! Using a key card. Pass me in. I can do some mischief from here. Firewolf. That was the wrong computer. Try another one. Maybe there's a way to figure out which terminal we need. This one's a washout. Another one, quick. Getting access. 
Wrong terminal. Try another. Connecting. Damn. No code. Try another one. Accessing now. Oh, Wrong shit. terminal. Try another. Hey.
look. Nothing going on but the rent. Do it! 